My name is CJ Holthouse. I'm with the design team and, uh, at Centaur Technology. And my name is Yipan Lu. I'm the uh, I'm in charge of the CPU product marketing at Via Technologies. But since English is probably the more common language, so I'll still do good <laughs> English. Um, this Tuesday, I went to the opening ceremony of Cognitech 2008, and I felt really good that day. Uh, two things. One is that uh, never in my life have I seen President Ma in such a short distance. So that was really cool for a girl. Okay. And uh, secondly is that in his speech, he talked about a couple of trends in 2008 Computex that he thinks are important. And two things. One is all the mini notes, the small phone factor laptops. And secondly is green IT. And I felt really good because those are the things that V has always and consistently been pushing in the market for a very, very long time. So now that uh, stealing uh, Richard Brown's quote is that the marketing is starting to get it. Um, what is VIA going to do based on these key elements and taking it to the next level? So I'm stealing this slide as well. So these are all the things that we were uh, creating along the seven, eight years line of uh, being in the x process processor market. We talked about fanless EDA platforms. We talked about mini ITX, nano ITX, Pico ITX. We talked about mini node, UMD, and all of this. So what will the VIA Nano processor lead the market to based on these key elements? Now, first of all, I want to take low power as a key thing. In the market today and in the past, low power has always been a privileged uh, feature. So if you look at the CPU market, any LV or ULV processor is considered small volume, high premium, very privileged. And in, only in those markets do you get a full blown feature of power management. But what we believe now with the new uh, VIA Nano processor bringing the performance up a couple of notches up, um, we believe in the premium, the mainstream, and even the entry market. Low power is a de facto feature for everybody. And power management is the same thing. So with the VIA C7 and the VIA Nano, we will offer these features in a full way to all the markets. Secondly, taking that same slide again, Finally, right now, someone else is saying low power is important, small full factor is important. However, if you look at the way the platform is determined, still, you will find that it's fragmented into different segments, and there's no leverage uh, in between, which means you have to take sides. If you want low power consumption, great. You have limited performance. If you want high performance, sorry, you don't have the low power consumption, and you don't have the power management features. So with this kind of thing in this market, Everyone's trying to search for a time to market, and that limits our customers and the market to innovate, to move fast. What VIA believes is all these things, we will make it pin-to-pin -pin compatible, and that's why the C7 and Nano share the same design, whether it's a board design, it's the bias, thermal design, and I.O. flexibility. And most important of all, as anyone that plans a product or anyone that's, that has to estimate R&D resource, you can use a one-time effort and create different SKUs. And you can totally have a wider span of uh, products that create different margins and different product positions, which eventually benefits the market and the customers. So CJ, why don't you talk about some of the premium features that we're adding to the low-power uh, low market? Sure. Uh, the the VIA Nano processor is a uh, brand new, from uh, scratch design. It is a 64-bit superscalar out-of-order design that is completely different from what we had with the C7. The C7 is an in-order architecture, and the C7 has competed admirably against the uh, uh, processors from uh, other companies. Uh, however, it just didn't look good enough on the benchmarks, and in order to get there, you need to go to another architecture like out-of-order, what it's called. And now with the Nano processor, we have two types of architecture that we can supply the marketplace. We have via Nano, and we have the VSC7 for the in-order. And it's very interesting that Intel has now created a in-order processor with the Atom. Now, Intel doesn't want you to know about these architectural details, but please go ask your local computer scientist. So, <laughs> so the, the processor is designed to scale up to uh, 1.3 gigahertz. It has all the hooks and features for scalability. Uh, we can do, uh, you know, we have the hooks for dual processing, quad processing. It's an integrated major. We have, like, uh, probe mode now. All the full features that uh, we've been wanting to add into uh, the C7. Uh, we have supplemental SSE3 instructions. Uh, from an instructions set architecture, uh, analog is similar to a Core 2 uh, uh, processor, a, a Conro in terms of instruction set. And one of the things is we've done, uh, 
with our, our floating point unit, uh, some people have grumbled about the C7 uh, floating point unit. It's okay. However, uh, we've taken the feedback and we uh, have maybe, say, overcompensated somehow. <laughs> The floating point unit is now a two clock floating point multiplier, so nobody else has that kind of performance. We've also done the 128-bit wide data pass, something that you've seen now in the Intel's you know, Conroe. We announced that at Microsoft Forum 2004, so yeah, it's another uh, thing where it has led to some innovation. So all, we've always had these uh, hardware security features, and we're continuing on that. But the most important thing is you can design for the C7, and with a BIOS upgrade, you can upgrade and then upgrade to the nano processor. It's that simple. We have a, a unit back there that was designed for the C7 that we've upgraded with the uh, via nano processor. You guys can check it out. So low power for all was one thing. Um, and this is a, a quick glance of all the SKUs that we're announcing with the via nano processor. So as you can see, uh, while we still address uh, the current mini no market small phone factors that we always been talking about, but also in the desktop and thermite notebooks, where we call it optimized desktop and optimized notebooks. We have uh, initial SKUs for them as well, and later on we'll come up with more. So the second thing that we talked about was green IT. Now these are all the things with back in the C7 days that we got certificates, whether it's in China or by Sony and Japan and US and all this. Um, what we are doing with the VN Nano is that not only we are still implementing these power management features, but also we're taking it to the next level as well. So ROHS, uh, lead free has always been there. With the VN Nano and the whole platform, we will offer halogen free and pure lead free materials from the beginning. And this will be in all SKUs that we just showed. And of course, we always have to show some performance slides. So these are performance per watt numbers. Uh, this is with a Milan CPU that we are compared with at the equivalent speed. And as the old saying goes, uh, actions speak louder than words. I think a demo actually speaks louder than PowerPoint slides. So I'll have CJ do a demo. Uh, we're going to save that. Okay. Maybe later then. So thank you.